hi besties welcome back to a super exciting video if you are looking to get into the christmas spirit this is the video for you we are going to be talking about all of my holiday christmas book recommendations and then also my personal holiday slash christmas tbr for this year let's hop right in i have six books to recommend you that i have read either this year or last year and i feel like there's some really good ones in here i'm not gonna lie first up one of my favorites is the holiday swap by maggie knox so so if you have seen what is it called the princess switch on netflix it kind of gives those vibes except for they aren't princesses i love the whole like twin switch places trope especially when you throw in the holidays i mean what more could you ask for so basically this book follows like a professional like tv chef she has her own show whatever and then her twin works in this small town bakery and the twin who is on like the tv show gets in Injured, so she's unable to do her show so then they decide to switch places and in each place where they switch there is a love interest one guy's a firefighter another one's a physician assistant I really liked both of the romances in this book and both the sisters both the guys and it was so cute because you got like the small town vibe but you also got like the reality TV like celebrity type vibe and it was so fun I love this I think I gave it like four stars such a fun book for this season please go read this one these titles i get confused a lot then we have the holiday switch by tiff marcello i think that's how you say it this book is literally 260 pages like you can binge this so quickly i feel i'm pretty sure this one's ya i actually remember really liking this one too i think i gave it like a 3 or 3.5 star this is ya and it's set at like this cozy holiday in gift store type thing where this like super popular holiday movie was filmed you have that kind of vibe which is incredible and then our main girl and the main guy i'm pretty sure they switched phones for a day she works at this inn and then he is like the owner's like nephew or something so he gets brought in to work there for the holiday season and they like don't get along so it's kind of like a enemies to lovers rivals to lovers however you want to put it um i just remember this being really cute and i really liked the vibes of it since it was like a movie set or whatever i just remember them working together it was a fun dynamic and i just i really enjoyed this story it wasn't something super memorable but it was really fun and then i read one day in december this one is definitely more literary fiction so if you want that this would be good and i'm pretty sure it's not necessarily christmas centered it's just like december winter centered i honestly didn't really love this book i think i gave it 2.53 something around there i don't remember since i read it like a year ago but the premise of this one just didn't really sit right with me like i just didn't really vibe with it it was about so our main girl what's her name lori and one day she's on this like train or getting on the train something like that at the train station and she sees this guy and she's just like oh my god i love him you know so it's like a love and first sight thing when she doesn't even know who he is basically she then spends a lot of time thinking about this man that she literally laid eyes on for one second and she tells her friend about it and then one day her friend brings home a guy and it's the guy she's seen so that whole thing didn't really sit right with me how he ended up being her friend's date and then it was just kind of kind of like behind the friend's back type thing i didn't really like that it didn't really sit right with me i didn't really connect with the characters either and it was just kind of a more emotional read because like i said it is more literary fiction rather than just like a fluffy rom-com so keep that in mind when you read this i'd still recommend it though because i feel like a lot of people could like it and like we trust reese's book club with our lives they always pick great books but the whole like him being her friend's boyfriend and then them seeing each other and like it just didn't really sit right with me i didn't really connect it or like i guess that trope you could call it but yeah that was one day in december and then we we have The Wake Up Call by Beth O'Leary. I'm pretty sure this came out this year or last year. Let me look. Yep, this year. So this is a new release and I really enjoyed this. I just finished this literally this morning. We match. I loved it. It was really fun. At first, I didn't really love it or connect with the character or like even like them. In the end, I ended up really liking this book and like binging the last like two thirds of it because I was so into it. This book basically follows our main- Oh my god, I literally just finished it and i already 
already forgot their names. Izzy. This follows Izzy and Lucas. Oh, his face is literally covered up by the sticker. Cool. They work at this like super like cozy, vibey hotel in thing. And it is basically going to shut down because there is no funds for this inn. And at this inn, they are rivals, they're enemies, and they just are at each other's throats all the time doing stuff to annoy the other person. And for the first like 100 pages, I was like getting kind of annoyed with that. I was like, these people literally are like 15. Like I was convinced they were 15 years old because the way they were acting was just like, but then it did get better. I didn't really care as much after like the 120 page mark. I actually really liked it after that. But at the beginning, it was kind of annoying me and I was like not vibing with them. But I guess they flipped a switch. They changed. But so throughout this book, they're trying to do things to save the hotel. And they are working through this like junk closet trying to sell some of the stuff. And then they find like a tub of rings, wedding rings that were abandoned at the hotel. They make this like bet to see who can return the most to their original owner. When I read the back of this in the store, I was really intrigued by that whole storyline, the returning the rings. So I thought we were going to get like the history between the rings and like learn about the couples who had the rings. But it was kind of just like not that in depth of like the ring delivery, but it was still entertaining and just something to like follow along with. There was like some other side plots that were fun. Honestly, I really liked this book. I ended up giving it 3.5 stars. And then we have one more and then probably my favorite holiday. I don't know. I feel like I have two favorites but then we have in a holidays by christine and lauren this book is like a time loop one where something happens and then they have to redo that time period over and over again until they like figure out what's going on so this one our main girl maylin every single christmas she spends it at this like cabin with her family and their friends the vibes were just so good i just was imagining such like a cozy cabin in the middle of like the woods with like snow everywhere so i love this setting so much it's kind not really a love triangle but there's just like two brothers who she's kind of thinking about it's not really a love triangle but there's just like two potential love interests but one is like definitely more defined but then she has to redo the like week that they are there and that part i feel like there wasn't a lot of like time loopiness like it was only a couple of times and most of the book was like the one where she was like figuring it out or whatever and i did like like what she had to do to figure it out i thought that was really developed and i liked how she went about doing it i enjoyed this book i think i gave it like three stars it was nothing too memorable but the vibes were really good the love story was cute it wasn't my favorite romance it was okay and then this is probably tied for first place of my favorite christmas book these two are definitely my favorites the holiday swap and then love light farms i'm still like not sure on my rating either 4.25 4.5 i just can't stop thinking about this setting and the world it is Oh my gosh, it is so cute. So basically, it is following our main girl. What's her name? I never know names. Stella? I don't remember that. Our main girl and our main guy, Luca, she owns this like Christmas tree farm. The vibes on this farm were so good. I literally loved reading about it. It was just so cozy and so fun and I literally loved it so much. But she owns this farm and the farm is struggling. So she entered this contest with like this influencer who would come and like highlight the farm on her social medias and then she has the potential to win like a cash prize that could save the farm. But on her application, she lied and said she had a boyfriend when she does not she asked her best friend luca to play the part of her fake boyfriend and they've been best friends for like so many years and i loved that whole dynamic with them it was so good i think i love friends to lovers there was one thing though i feel like his kind of story was a little underdeveloped they were kind of long distance friends like he lived away and worked in the city and it never really said like what he did for work or like talked about his life there and that was something i wanted to see like more into him and like what he did every day because i really liked him as a character this is set in like a small town so you get like the town people and i literally love them i just love reading about small towns and like all the other people in the town always just make the book i feel like there's just some incredible side characters in this book and their story was so cute i literally cannot recommend this enough i cannot wait to read the rest of the series i am so excited okay so that is all of the christmas books that i would recommend you guys read or just ones that that I have read and think someone out there may like. So now I'm just gonna quickly run through my TBR for this year. I don't think I'm gonna get to all these. One can hope. The one I know that I will be reading the second it gets delivered is A Princess for Christmas. 
Infamous, I think it's called. I heard this be compared to the movie on Netflix, The Princess Swap. I don't know what it's about other than that it's compared to that. And I freaking loved that movie so much. So I'm so excited. I love like all things royalty, all that. And then this book I had last year, but I didn't get to it. We have Mistletoe and Mr. Wright. Love the cover. This book is like low-key thick. Like this is the thickest Christmas book I own. It's set in Alaska, small town Alaska, which I think seems so interesting. And she is like kind of like a rich social life. She wants to prove that she belongs in this small town. And then I don't know much about this guy, but he's giving like perfect Christmas town man. I don't really know. The back's kind of confusing, but I do want to read this one. It honestly seems really cute. I don't know why I've waited a year to read it. And then I have another Josie Silver book, A Winter in New York. I love books set in New York, so this sounds so interesting. It doesn't seem like it's Christmas centered. So like I could read this in like January, February, whenever. I don't really know what this one's about. Something about her best friend showing her around town and then something about a gelato store that could be closing. I don't know, sounds more literary fiction-y. And then I have Snowden for Christmas. This book, I bought it and I don't really know how interesting it is to me. It's about a sorority mom. So it looks like the team like football coach, there's a big snowstorm and he offers her shelter in his house I think. So I'm not sure with this one if it's like a shorter timeline since the main focus is like the snowstorm. And then the last book I want to read this holiday season is Holly Jolly Cowboy by Jessica Clare. This book is obviously like a cowboy small town Christmas vibe which I've never really seen before but we love small town cowboy vibes so I'm excited for this one. And there's a dog on the cover. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please let me know down below your favorite holiday book of the season or if you've read any of these, let me know your thoughts. I would love to read them and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.